Good writers follow their curiosity. This writer followed her curiosity all the way to prison, and the result is a revelation. Love Lockdown is best known as the title of a Kanye West song with some of the best auto-tuning I've ever heard. But someday soon, I hope Love Lockdown will be even better known as a book by Elizabeth Greenwood, who has written a true account of dating, sex, and marriage in America's prison system. I want to emphasize that Love Lockdown is a work of nonfiction because whenever prison and love are intermingled, there is a natural tendency to assume that we're in the realm of fiction or maybe even erotica, but that's not the case here. Love Lockdown takes us someplace most of us have never been and will never want to go in the most interesting and intimate way that I can imagine. The author is Elizabeth Greenwood, a journalist who follows her curiosity to extreme places. Her first book was called Playing Dead, A Journey Through the World of Death Fraud. In the course of writing that fascinating book, Elizabeth Greenwood began corresponding with a charming man who was in prison for committing insurance fraud. He soon began professing his love for her in a series of letters, and while our author did not reciprocate, she began to follow her curiosity to another unusual place by exploring the lives of people who fall in love with prisoners. The women and men in this book surprised me. They enter into relationships knowing the worst about their partners, and they do it anyway. We meet Ro, a woman who asks herself, how is it that a guy in federal prison makes me happier than any boyfriend out in the world? There's Sheila, a former New York Times reporter who says she's not marrying her lover's past, she's marrying the person he became after he learned from his mistakes. There's a man who fell in love with a woman who committed murder, and he explains, I don't think I'm fascinated by dangerous people. I just fell in love with someone who committed a crime. As the author explains, all relationships at their very essence are acts of delusion. We choose to overlook unpleasant aspects of our partners in favor of their better sides. When you're reading Love Lockdown, you may find yourself wondering what you had previously considered unfathomable. Could I fall in love with someone in prison? You will be amazed by how reasonable that scenario is for the people in this book. That is the word according to Carmen.